Two years ago, Colchester United were preparing to do battle with the likes of Merthyr Tydfil and Northwich Victoria in the GM Vauxhall Conference. Despite a string of big name managers and coaches, Jock Wallace, Mick Mills and Alan Ball included, the U's were relegated from the Football League in the 1989-90 season, where they had resided for over 40 years. Although the highest position ever achieved in those 40 years was in 1979 and 80, when they finished fifth in Division Three, the thought of facing soccer wilderness in the backwaters of non-league football was as much as the already strained patience of the supporters of Colchester United could bear. However, two years on and a successful league and cup double behind them, record crowds and a big day out at Wembley where more than 20,000 fans flocked to see them, the user back. Having won promotion back to the Football League after a titanic struggle with Wickham Wanderers for the GM Conference title on goal difference, where both sides finished on an equal record amount of points, the future looks rosy. A target of £100,000 has nearly been raised in cash and offers of work under the back to the league appeal of former chairman James Bowdage. This amount was estimated as the cost of bringing the used layer road ground up to the league standard. Honours, however, are won on the playing field. So why did it all come right in the end? Step in Roy McDonough, referred to in his first spell at layer road by some as the bad boy of Colchester United. Roy returned to the club as player manager less than 18 months ago. In that time, he has guided the club he always wanted to play for to the only two honours that they have ever won, as well as finishing their most successful season ever as leading goal scorer. I think we all realise that if we had not done it last year, that might unfortunately have been the demise of Colchester United as certainly a full-time professional outfit. Yeah. Now whether, if we'd have stayed in the conference, whether the fans would have stayed with them again after having two years in it, who knows? But of course, thankfully, I mean, uh, the job was done. Uh, we rammed it down everyone's throats in the end because I don't think we were the most popular side in the conference. For reasons unbeknown to me, I don't know. Um, we played our football to get out of the league, scored a lot of good goals, uh, crowned it all with the Wembley triumph, obviously, to do the double. Mm -hmm. um, but like you say, if that hadn't been uh, established or we hadn't have done that at the end of last season, who knows what would have happened to Colchester United. When, when you led the team out at Wembley, I know that um, uh, in the weeks leading up to the final, strangely you were going to let somebody else lead the team out, but when it came to it, no one can blame you for the fact that you wanted to do it yourself. I mean, how did you feel when you walked out that day? Do you think anything can ever surpass that feeling? I'd be very surprised, um, there was talk the chairman was on about doing it and really because he'd been such a, a delight to work for without trying to suck up to the fella but uh, he'd been a very easy going sort of bloke to work for and perhaps to reward him for his work behind the scenes and getting everything um, involved and, and the family atmosphere again at the club it would have been nice to think he could have led the lads out. Then there was a bit of conflict behind the scenes whether it was the done thing um, Ian Phillips came into the frame because Ian had done a lot of work behind the scenes without getting too much credit. And then, uh, in the end, really, it was told to me, and it, it was, I got wrong information, that I would be the first player manager to lead a team out at Wembley Stadium. Well, of course, Kenny Dalgleish had done it with Liverpool. But uh, in the end, I thought, well, I'll go for it. It, it was just the thought that my family were going to be there, and they'd stuck with me for 16, 17 years of you know, when I did have a few years off the rails, and they stuck with me through thick and thin. I thought, well, be nice for them to sit at Wembley and see their lad actually take the team out who had already won the championship. And uh, to be honest, Steve, it was an absolute choker. There was that many cameras on you and videos, uh, all the photographers on the lads walking out. If there'd not been that many, I think I'd, I'd, I'd have been in tears, to be honest. Mm.
Because he managed to keep most of that last team's successful squad together. Um, he'd been touting certain players about in the press, obviously trying to raise a lot of money in order to buy maybe three mm. uh, lower division quality footballers. Do you think the current squad is good enough to uh, to go on and win other honours? And the bookies are making them anything from second favourites to mm. fifth favourites at William Hills today, to to one. Well, we've got to start. Certainly, uh, looking back over the last few seasons, all the towns that have done well in the conference here, Darlington's, Lincoln's, Mates and United have made the playoffs. Now, if we don't make the playoffs this year, we'll be classed as the first failures that have come out of the conference. Um, we have been lucky, touch wood, with keeping 90-odd percent of the squad from last year. Um, there's a goalkeeper coming down to join us tomorrow for three months, who's a football league goalkeeper who I've got no worries about will do a good job for us. We're trying to sign a centre-half that can come in and straight into the side and do a job for us, which will strengthen the squad with a couple of the youngsters that aren't quite ready yet, they're still going through the learning process. Um, I'd like to think that our momentum from last year, with the spirit that ran through the players, particularly in the running, when there was a lot of pressure on in the, in the, the Vauxhall Conference to win the championship, and then of course the Wembley game where you were red-up favourites, you got you know nothing to gain really and everything to lose, but we did the job again and rammed it down everyone's throats. I'd like to think um, as long as we don't get injuries to key players too early, which is what we did last year and we got away with, we will be a force. Um, we've got five out of eight games at home to start the season. I mean, our own form last year was second to none, really. We won 19 out of 21 fixtures. Now, if we do half as good as that this year, I don't think we'll be too far away. Um, I fancy us. I fancy we'll do well. I think we'll surprise one or two people. It's just important that I think we get off to a bit of a fly and get off to a good start. Let's hope... Uh, 92 93 will bring on the same sort of success and the same emotions, if you like, and the same feelings amongst the, the fans and the players. And if we can be successful again, well, maybe we'll walk out at Wembley again next year. If we can't win the championship, we'll make the playoffs and have another jolly up at Wembley Stadium. Great, look forward to it.